Okay guys, I have a sheet of 20mm thick uh, HDPE I think it's called. I don't know if you can see that as it's, uh, I can see it, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up. There's actually a Pocket Rocket 3 stencil drawer on there. Uh, as I say, I've never worked with this stuff before, and I have no idea how it's going to turn up, so the video could well get tits up, who knows. But I'm going to start by getting the pinky hole out, and uh, hopefully I'll take you through the process of uh, start to finish the Pocket Rocket 3 in this HDPE. But uh, as I say, I haven't, messed, I haven't messed with the stuff before, so who knows, it could go all go wrong. Get the pinky hole done anyway. Okay guys, got the pinky hole out, just going to rough cut it on the bandsaw now. Okay then guys, we've got uh, a rough shape cut out now. Uh, going to do probably 20 minutes, half hours work with the Dremel now. And, uh, I'll show you once I've done a bit and uh, get back to Okay then guys, going to uh, finish it off now all with a Dremel, got a rough shape, uh, see how we get on, here we go. Okay guys, you've just seen me a uh, rough shape that side, uh, it's only a rough shape, just getting the curve right, um, already feeling nice, uh, still got it to that side so what I'll do now is uh, I'll get this side done exactly the same as I did that side and then I'll get back to you. Okay guys, got the rough shape, uh, it's only gone over with a 60 grit uh, Dremel drum sander so you know I'll go over it with a 120 and a Y wall in a bit. Uh, elastic grooves, I've actually run out of the slimline sander so I'm going to try and use this uh, grinding stone. So I'll get the elastic grooves in now and uh, get back to you. Okay then guys you've just seen me do that one, as I say this is only rough shaping now, just getting the rough shape off to move all the uh, other bits off later. So uh, I'll just do the same with the tip of this fork now and uh, I'll check back to you. Okay guys I've uh, only roughly got the uh, elastic grooves in as I say, it's only rough at the moment so I get it finished. Uh, now what I'm going to do is put the thumb brace in and the finger groove for that finger for me. Uh, so again using just the rough 60 grit Dremel bit. Okay guys, so I've roughly got my finger groove and my thumb brace now, a uh, pinky hole. Uh, as I say, this one's made for my hand, as you, you probably see me testing it. Uh, thumb brace, finger groove, really ergonomical catapult for me. Uh, love it to be honest, nice small size. Uh, 
To be honest, it almost looks like buffalo horn. I think I'm going to have to get my hands on a slab of that to do a buffalo horn one. Uh, elastic grooves in roughly, uh, shape roughly, uh, the thumb groove roughly and the finger groove roughly. Uh, I'm going to switch, this is a 60 grit sander. I'm going to switch this over to an 120 grit sander now. Uh, get the old catapult to once over with it, then I'll check back to you. Okay then guys, uh, nearly there now, just um, need to go out with a spinning wire wool now. Uh, just see how it comes out with that, I think it should take out all the last remaining scratching. Hard work this is. Okay guys, that's about me done for today to be honest. Uh, still needs a fine wire wall and a polish. But I'll do that later on this afternoon, or, well, tomorrow probably. So, Saturday afternoon, it's time to get showered and down the pub. <laughs> so, uh, as I say, uh, I'll get it finished off tomorrow, get some bands on, uh, show you the finished product, and probably get a shooting video in as well. Cheers.